OK, let's move on um, to the Daily Telegraph now. Um, their main story concerns Europe, which I guess we may see a certain amount of with David Cameron due to make his big yeah. speech that's been much heralded on uh, Friday in the Netherlands about Britain's relationship with Europe. Uh, what does the Daily Telegraph tell us? Tomorrow? Well, the, um, the Daily Telegraph is um, telling us that the Fresh Start group, which are the, um, the hard uh, Eurosceptics in the Tory party, are coming out with a number of demands for the Prime Minister, um, f uh, the repatriation of all social uh, and employment laws, the working time directive, opt out from existing uh, policing uh, criminal justice measures and an emergency break on any new, new legislation that um, affects financial services and so on. And, you know, this is, th 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 this is all building up to the Prime Minister's speech in uh, the Netherlands on Friday. And um, the whole thing is becoming an absolute shambles. And you have strong, sane voices who understand uh, the economic impact of this on our country, who understand the chilling risk of this degree of destabilization about commitment to our membership of the European Union. And I mean, one of the other interesting things is that the Prime Minister obviously thinks that he's courting public opinion, but there's some recent YouGov research which shows that actually these voices like President Obama, like Michael Heseltine, like um, other European leaders warning Britain against uh, precipitous withdrawal um, is actually having an effect and people are beginning to be much less okay, enthusiastic. You have to acknowledge about that a lot of people are unhappy with the nature of the current relationship as well. Can I say, I'm, no, absolutely, is... I'm amazed at uh, Liberal politicians talking about what the public thinks about on this. You're, you're actually now, after all these years, the Labour politician is concerned about what the public thinks. The public have been telling you for 20 years, we don't like this. I'm one of those... Um, should we say, insane, weak people who think we're not talking about pulling out completely. We're talking about renegotiating and having a membership of the European Union on our terms that suit us and not signing up to stuff that we don't want to be part of. No, but the I point never is, got if... a say. I wasn't old enough in 1975 to have a say. Most people in this country never had a say. And the people who did have a say had a say on something quite different from what the European Union well, we now is have, now. We now have... Uh, enshrined in legislation a commitment that if there are further treaty changes oh the, then you oh is, come on you know there was a put no, no there was a policy, then, there was a pledge in 2005 there a and there have been changes since then it's an absolute nonsense the entire Julia, political is, class of all allowed, political parties no, no, no. other than UKIP has signed up to this absolutely against the express wishes of the British public totally ignoring the British public all of the political classes across Europe are all signed up to this absolute nonsense we're on a we are on a freight train heading to Towards political unity. No one wants it. No one in Europe, the people of Europe don't want it. The people in France don't want it. In Spain, whenever there's been a referendum, people don't want it. Just we will look. never get okay, our say. Let, let us we will it. never get a say yeah, until no, I mean, we is, say what no, you want exactly. us to say. Exactly. I mean, this is the kind of rant. That, it's not a, that it is okay. a rant. No, that expressing Bill an opinion is not no, a rant, no, 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 Tessa. No, it's the view of 67% no, no, of the population of no, this country. But, but it's 67% the of the thought that as well before 1975. And uh, the fact is that the more people understand about the economic consequences, jobs, the fact what, that... What jobs are we going to lose? Our... We're not going to stop trading three, with Europe. Three, 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 you think uh, France is going to stop exporting to us well, because I, we're not uh, part of the EU? Are you the, kidding me? So, France would go well, under on in, in, in two days. Okay, the, I mean, of course the they're C going to carry the CBI, exporting to us. CBI, um, every serious business leader believes that, our economy, yeah, that, that, that our economy would suffer if we uh, withdrew from Europe and all also, that, that our economy is faced with the risk of uh, uncertainty but, is a problem, but we yeah, don't have exactly. to have uncertainty. We can have a referendum in two weeks' time, and then we'd have certainty. Oh, Julia, that is absolutely ridiculous, really? and it's also it's also misinformed. The public are ridiculous. And the vast majority no, of the no, country, no, no, vast no, no, majority no. of Labour voters, are ridiculous no, because they like to have a referendum. And, and you know that that's not what I'm saying. Um, at any time, uh, the I mean, for the last probably five years, about two thirds of people at any time said yes, we'd like to come out of Europe, but actually. If you, if you say to people, um, well, uh, we may have a referendum in a couple of years' time, that gap closes and you get about 
50. So look at but, the, but the scare tactics. The UK, no, but that's based on the scare tactics. The idea that, we, that, that Britain is going to be close to business. We will, look. Norway and Switzerland are not countries which are crying out for for aid from the from the charities. Are they? They're doing all right. I think Britain would do just fine. Thank you. These are just scare stories. This what these Tory MPs are saying. You you think they're headbangers? What they're asking for is stuff that most people in this country would agree with. Okay. And you'll just say they just don't understand. Okay. Well, maybe they understand better than uh, Labour politicians. Tessa, very quick do. word, and then we should move on to other things. <laughs> well, I mean, I th you know, th this is this is the kind of Eurosceptic rant that um, is at the moment driving the government of this country. It is not in the in the country's economic interest. And if only uh, it was driving the government. If only it was. Well, I mean, this is why you you have you have two things from the prime minister. You have yes, we must re, re, uh, we must renegotiate. We must be members of the European Union, but on our terms. But then making it absolutely clear, correctly, that the British economy would suffer, and there are also okay. uh, risks of this continued uncertainty. Okay. You can't play. This is playing with fire. Okay. Well, and no okay. wonder I think the President <laughs> of the United you've States had to intervene last extremely week. Extremely strongly. <laughs> and we will learn more on what the uh, Prime Minister's view is we'll on Friday, of course. We'll be fine. Live on Sky News that speech, of course. Uh, let's move on to the uh, Daily Mirror, which, uh, like the Daily Mail, and I think maybe other papers as well, the Telegraph has it on the front page yes. too, uh, horse meat is found in Tesco burgers. This was as a result of a uh, safety authority in Ireland doing some tests on some Julia samples. probably thinks it's the EU's fault. <laughs> <laughs> anyone, anyone who expresses a view that we should have a democratically accountable government no, anyway. is clearly a nutter no, in this interest. No, okay, no, we've, no. Done, we've done that. Well, I, I, I have to say, I love this story. This